God's word on tonight. Tonight's scripture reading will be coming from <clears throat> Psalms, the 73rd chapter of Psalms, beginning at verse 1. Psalm 73, beginning at verse 1. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are, to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolishness when I saw the prosper prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their debt, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they pled like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They had more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How do a God know? And there is, and is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, their increase in riches. Verily, I have cleaned my heart in vain, and washed my hand in innocent. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I shall offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood I therein. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou kennest them down to destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by thy right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom I have in heaven but thee, and there is none upon the earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, thou art thou, or for far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all of them that go a horn from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord that may declare all thy words. Thank you for reading the whole 73rd chapter of Psalms. And we just thank God for allowing us to be in the house once again, the house of the Lord. Again tonight, we thank God for our life, health, and strength, our food, clothes, and shelter. I want to thank God for waking me up to see another day I've never seen before this morning. We thank God for life, health, and strength, food, clothes, and shelter. We thank God for the use of our limbs. We thank God that it could have been another way. We could have been in a hospital. We could have been in a mortuary. We could have been laying in our casket. But God thought so much of us to allow us to be breathing on tonight. I just want to tell the Lord, thank you. For breath on tonight, Lord God. I thank you for having mercy upon us. Yes. And thank you for everything that you are doing, that you have done, and that you're going to do. Thank you, Lord. Tonight we're gonna to have um selection coming from the brothers and sisters combined. Um tonight, so we're gonna have two selections coming from the brothers and two selections coming from the sisters in Jesus Christ's name. Uh brothers, we're gonna come up first. Amen. Sunday's fourth Sunday in Jesus Christ's name, and I'm asking for everybody to show their support. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you know, tell the youth in your neighborhood, and uh, tell their parents. Let me see that. But the youth in your neighborhood is just to come out and experience Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We just thank God for the youth that is here in Jesus Christ's name, that they're still alive and still have a mind to seek and praise you, the Lord. And we just thank God for everybody. We thank God for that this fourth Sunday is going to be the youth drive, amen, for school. And we ask those that, you know, they have anything, you know, to donate. If it's a piece of paper, pack of paper, you know, just 
donate in Jesus Christ's name. Because every little bit helps, and it goes towards the, the, the betterment of our youth in Jesus Christ. Towards us. We thank the Lord for giving us this chance, this a great opportunity. Yet being the land of the living, having the mind to want to do those things which are right and pleasing in the sight of the Lord our God. We just thank God for all the baptized believers, all the men that are preaching and teaching the words of truth in the day in which we now live. Knowing that we are living in the last days, perilous time, we pray that God will help us and keep us, that we will be all what the Lord would have us to be in these last dark and evil days. So we're going to start tonight, get the 73rd chunk song. That's where our scripture reading was from tonight. Just some good things that uh, heard in there, and it's always good. The word of God is always good, and it's always right. And we pray that God will help us all to be all what he would have us to be. We thank God for uh, the children, we can school, and how they are coming along with all as well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that it's, it's, it's tension and pressure on the mothers and the dads and everybody. Is that right? But we thank God for his goodness to us. All right, we'll get started with a few verses. We're not going to hold you long. In the name of Jesus Christ, school night, I ain't going to be holding people long if I can. You know, because I know you want to go to school and want to get ready for school. So we want to consider those kind of things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, 30, uh, Psalm 73, verse 1 says, Truly God is good to Israel. Amen. Well, truly God is good to Israel. Truly God is good to us. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Yes, he is. He's good to Israel. He's good to us. You know, we're, the, we're spiritual Israel now. Is that right? Amen. We're spiritual. So he's good to Israel. He's good to us. All right, what he said. Truly God is good to Israel, uh -huh. even to such as are of a clean heart. Amen. You know, one thing about it, I can tell everyone, one of the greatest things to have is a good, clean heart, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have a good, clean heart, you know. David said, he talked about the heart, and, and all of those things that can come out of the heart. But it's good when we now have a 73rd chapter of Psalm. It's good to have a good heart. What does he say, my beloved? But as for me. All right, let's see what he said. As for me. My feet were almost gone. Well, you know, that, that can happen to any of us. You know, there are certain things that come up in life when we're almost about to slip. Almost gone. Who? You know, e e even though, you know, and it's, the thing is, we have the Holy Ghost, some of us, and we pray that God will bless everyone. And it should be everyone desire to seek the Holy Ghost and to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. That, that's very important. Yes. You know, we, we don't just say it, just be saying it, just, you know, well, he, he's saying it because I ain't got it. No, it's important. Yes. It's an experience that you will be able to tell, but you, will be able to, you won't be able to experience until you experience it. <laughs> Is that all right? One scripture says, joy unspeakable, oh. and it's full of glory. Amen. That's amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Holy Ghost. That's amazing. I mean, that's a lot. So, you know, it's something that can't be described, but seek after it. Seek after it. Don't be content. Don't be content and don't be satisfied until you seek after it. It's a, it, 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 it's, it's a process. And it's not a long process. No. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But it's you're just getting ourselves willing to seek God for the Holy Ghost. And it's a blessing. Ask him for it. Is that right? Oh, but what he says in my beloved? But as for me. But as for me. My feet were almost gone. My feet was almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. They start getting some slippery slide in there. That's not too good. But what he say? For I was envious at the foolish when but, I saw the prosperity of the wicked. You know, it, 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 now, I can understand now. You can understand that other verse when he said, "Read verse verse two again." Listen to what it says. But as for me, all right, my feet were almost gone. My feet was almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. My feet, my steps had well nigh slipped. 
Go ahead. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Well, I'm, I'm envious at the foolish when I seen the prosperity. You know, sometimes you wonder. Lord, I'm striving. I've been striving for a long time. Yeah. And I still ain't got what I asked for yet. Amen. And it still seems as though I'm going through some hard times. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. And you see other people that ain't thinking about God. Mm -hmm. Ain't thinking about the standard. Mm -hmm. Doing what they want to do. And seem as though they doing all right. Jesus. Go ahead. Is that so? Amen. Amen. So it, it causes us to say, well, hey, Lord, what's, what's going on here? What is that? For there are no bands in their debt. Ain't no bands in their debt. But their strength is firm. What they do is firm in them. Solid. Hey, I'm striving, I'm struggling. But you know, <laughs> that's the way it seemed. You know, David talked about the prosperity of the wicked. You know, one of the Psalms, he said, fret not thyself because of evil doers. Be not envious against the workers of iniquity. So then you look at things, you look at people around you, and you strive, you say, Lord Jesus. And you know what it does, if you're not careful, it makes you want to kind of slide back some. Mm -hmm. And you keep pressing forward. Because mm -hmm. we're doing what we're doing by faith. I'm sure maybe some things that you've asked for. See, we 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 like tangible things. We sometimes feel that oh, God is really blessing me because I have this and I have that. But remember what he said earlier. Truly God is good to Israel, even to them such as have what? Clean hearts. See, that's key right there. That's key. Yeah. Is that right? Because you may not be, you may not have all these other things that you see. And you know, we, we you know, we want things because we are, the scriptures say that which is wanting cannot be numbered. So it's things that we want, isn't it? Yes. Is that right? Amen. But one thing we should want more than anything, and that's the Lord Jesus. 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 Is that right? Amen. What he says to my beloved. But there are, there are no bands in their death. There is no bands in their death. But their strength is firm. Yes. They are not in trouble as other men. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. They ain't plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Pride compasses them about as a, as a chain. Take hold of them like a chain. Go ahead. Violence covers them as a garment. Yes, violence covers them like a Gone. Their eyes. Well, well, remember, remember what he said. The key thing. See, he's talking about these things, but one of the key things he said first about the heart. <clears throat> see, people. Let me tell you something. People have a lot of things. We can have a lot of things, but we want our heart right. Amen. That's that's what you want, right? You want your heart right. <coughs> what he says here. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Mm -hmm. They have more than heart could wish. Mm -hmm. they, they have more than the heart can wish. Here you strive a little holy, and you mean I can buy you a pair of shoes right now. Huh? huh? Amen. Yes. But they, 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 they got all that. See, when you, when you start looking, see, don't be around a lot of stuff. Don't look out there and want them to say, well, Lord, I ain't got this. I, I, I'm going to just give up and then go out there. That's what happened to Israel when they was in the wilderness. They start looking back and they say, what to God we were back in Egypt. My Lord. Because they were going through some suffering. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't have the plum grants and all those good things that they had. Now it was time for some suffering. Mm -hmm. And now they began to look back and want to go back. Amen. Is that right? Sometimes things get so tough sometimes for the people of God. Things just ain't gonna, why you striving to live right? You want to be right in your heart. And things just don't come, things just ain't coming like you want to come. You should know, I don't know. Look back and make, try a little something like that. Is that right? Amen. It can happen. What he says here, my beloved. They are corrupt. But they, they are corrupt. 
and speak wickedly concerning oppression, uh -huh. they, they speak loftily. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens. Mm -hmm. How do you want that to soak in a little bit? Mm -hmm. Why you stop? They set their mouth against the heaven. What else? And their tongue walketh through the earth. Uh huh. Therefore his people, his people return hither, and water is full water and water of a full cup is wrung out of them. Yes. And they say, How do God know? They say, How do God know? And See, he began to question God. How do God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? They begin, you know, they, 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 they begin to question God and God. See, and that's you see. That's kind of where we are now. People begin to, to forget about God. And do God really know? Is there really a God? I mean, all this going on, is there really a God? Certainly it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are so ecstatic and going everywhere to see the eclipse, the power of God. Mm -hmm. That was the power of God. Mm -hmm. uh, that was something that man can do. That, that's something to make you wonder. How is it that the earth, the moon, and all this here get between something? and cause what it did. And you, you're so powerful, you can't even look up at it. With your naked eye, you're blind. It'll hurt you. That's the power of God. Don't ask, no, you don't have to question God. See, so many people question God because they say such knowledge is too wonderful. It's things that God can do that it will just blow you away. You just can't, you can't comprehend it. It's just too much for us. Because we look at things in a, we see, the reason why, because we are limited. So we say, oh, I wonder if. I don't see this. See, people like people like to see things. And I was thinking about the scripture how it said, you know, how the last days be, you know, signs in heaven. Yes. Different signs and things that's going to take place. People want to see something. Is that right? But the day of the Lord. I hear the scripture say, the day of the Lord is, is thick darkness. Yes. He says it's a day of gloominess. Yes. Is that right? I think he said he talked about it in Malachi. Yep. Malachi. You know, he talked about the day of, let's, let's touch that a little bit. About in the third chapter of Malachi, how he talked about how the day of the Lord is. And what type of day it's going to be. For mm -hmm. some people, it's going to be thick, thick, yes. gloomy God. Yes, yes. Is that right? Yes. For those that have not did the will of God, have not seek Him, That's right. and have not strived to be what He would have them to be. Oh, it's gonna be a day of God. Oh, it's gonna be dark in the eclipse. Yes. Oh, See, because one thing about the eclipse, the eclipse going past by. Mm -hmm. But when you get the gloomy darkness of the day of the Lord, now judgment time. Oh, huh? Mm -hmm. Now is eternity. Hallelujah. I want to be ready. I want to be right. This is by faith, you all. This, what we're doing is by faith. Amen. You can see a lot of stuff out there. Yes, but what we're doing and what we're striving for is all about faith. It's all about faith. Yes, Lord. Not about what you can see. Is that right? Faith is some of the things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Oh, you've seen the eclipse. Some people think, oh, it's going to be the end of the world. No, no, not yet. And we're getting all shook up about that. Because that ain't that ain't it. It's just the power of God. Huh? Is that right? Something that's been going on for a long time. Huh? Well, what he says? What it says. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. Mm -hmm. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Uh -huh. But unto you that fear my name. But it unto you that fear my name. Shall the Son of righteousness arise with uh -huh. healing in his wings. Uh -huh. And you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stalk. Uh -huh. And you shall tread down the wicked. Yeah. But they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. All right. In the day that I should do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. 
Remember ye the law of Moses, mm -hmm. my servant, uh -huh. which I commanded unto him in Hero mm -hmm. for all Israel. All Israel. With the statutes and judges. Yes, sir. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before that before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. The coming of the, the what? Before the coming of the what? The great and dreadful. The great and dreadful day the of the Lord. The great and dreadful. I'm telling you, that's going to be a day. Lord Jesus, that's going to be a day. Yeah. It's coming, it's coming. You know, it, it took time for that clip to do what it did. It took time. Mm. The last one I remember seeing was my oldest daughter. I don't know if she was even born. In fact, she might have been one years old. Back in 79. I know what I was doing that day. <laughs> I know where I was that day. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I, I know where I was and what I was doing that day. Because yeah. I people say, well, the last one was doing the time of Rosa. I said, no, I seen one before. I seen one before. I seen one before that time. Mm. And, it, and, it, and it, was, it, was, it, was, it was It didn't happen here like it did there, but it got Oh. It was amazing. But that's the power of God. But it's going to be a dreadful day. What did he say? Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before what? The coming of the great and dreadful, dreadful day, day of the Lord. Hold up. You got Amos over here? Yes, sir. Let me, let me hear what Amos say over here. Right quick. Amen. Amos, the fifth chapter, beginning at verse 16. Let's hear it. Therefore, the Lord, uh -huh. the God of hosts, the Lord said thus. The Lord said thus. Wailing shall be in all streets. What's going to be there? Wailing shall be Wailing. in all streets. Wailing shall be in all streets. And they shall say in all the highways. And they're going to say in all the highways. Alas, alas. Uh-huh. And they shall call the husband man to mourning. Mm -hmm. And to such as are skillful of lamentation to will. Wailing. And in all vineyards shall be will. Go ahead. For I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Uh huh. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe unto you. Woe. Are you ready? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? What end is it for you? Okay. You want the day of the Lord. What end is it for you? Amen. Well, I'm ready for the Lord to come. I want to be right before he comes. Yeah. 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 I ain't rushing nothing. No, sir. Because there's still some Jesus. things that may be out of order. Thank you. That I want to get it on. Yeah. I ain't rushing nothing. Thank I'm ready to want the mercy of God. So I ain't Jesus. rushing Thank nothing. Oh, I want the Lord to come on. Well, you can want all you want. I want to be ready and right when you come. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. Oh, listen to what he says. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. So what end is it for you? What end? What? What's your end? Do you know your end? You don't even know your end. Amen. So you know I'm gonna be saying gonna be this. Well, come on, but you don't know that. Amen. We we walk by faith so that when that day do come, we will be ready and prepared for the day of the Lord. What he says. Amen. Won't you that desire the day of the Lord? Mm -hmm. To what end is it for you? Read. The day of the Lord is darkness. Holy. Uh -oh. The day of the Lord is darkness. Somebody try to wonder, well, why thought it'd be light? You see, it's darkness because you, you, if you are not in a position to receive the light and to be glad of his coming, that's a, that's a woe day for you. Amen. That's a woe day. And we don't know when, the, when that day comes. It don't matter. You say, be on your job. You know, the scripture said, two shall be grinding at me, one shall be taken, the other left, one, two shall be in the bed, the one shall be taken. It, it, it's gloomy, isn't it? Yeah. And you wake up, and your wife going, and she ain't in the house, husband going, no, no way around. They've been taken. And you left here. What did he say? Amen. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion. Listen, this is how it is. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Not light. As in a See, man. Now listen to the description yeah. of what he means when he said darkness. A day of gloom. It's like a man that's running from what? A lion. He running. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how your heart would be beating? How you, you would probably be crying a grown man. Oh God, grown and strong here. 
you that lion coming at you and you hit that river and that lion just coming. Yeah. And you running, you running. Huh? The day of the Lord is is what? It adds. Adds. Listen to this. Go ahead, Brother Joe. As if a man did flee from a lion. No. As a man did flee from a lion. Not in the gun. He ain't just he ain't running from no cat. That's right. He's running from a lion. That's right. Lord Jesus. Big cat. Yeah. King of the jungle. Yes, sir. Running from a lion. Yes. Now you can act like you run from a little kitten and like you playing in your house with a little kitten. Oh, it's different from that. Mm. He got Paul that can That's get right. all hit you. Right. Just open his mouth and bite. That's right. It's a day of dreadfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. A, day of, a, a, a day of so day of wrath. so wrath and frightened. So bad. It's it's oh it's just oh it just scares us. How, you, know, how, you know how you know how you felt when you felt real scared oh, Lord. or frightened? You know, I know we've all been we've all been frightened, yeah. even if it's by our own children, My or by our spouses. They can get in the closet and then they jump out at you or something behind the door. It make you feel funny, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You don't feel. Why you don't do that to me? <laughs> well, the day of the Lord is worse. Amen. It's as a lion. Yeah. What else, Joseph? Amen. As if a man that flee from a lion and a bear. And a bear, what? Man. Okay, here we are here now. You're running from a lion and a bear beach. And a bear ain't no plain thing. Bear. Huh? Man. Way up there, that tall, wide, big claw, big teeth, big head. Man. Eight or nine hundred pounds. You run from the lion, you meet a bear. Amen. At that point, you feel like. You, 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 you can't, you know what, honestly speaking, you can't even imagine this, because it ain't never happened. But you, within our own minds, we can understand how it is. You see how a lion is when he's coming after something, and how he tear it apart. You see what a bear do. A bear will lay on you and maw you and, and hurt you. It's day of dreadfulness. Yeah. What, he, uh, what else he says? Or oh, went into the house. Are oh, you think you done got away. Mm. You made it. You met a lion running at your bed, and you got in the house. You think you're still safe? And leaned. And you leaned. His hand on the wall. Lean your hand on the wall. And a serpent bit. No escape. No escape. Thank you. No hiding place. No hiding place. Can't run. Can't hide. Shell so, so, so this is a this is a terrible time, Saint. This is what we're trying to avoid. Because, now see, now listen. He has given us an example, an illustration of how it will be to us as humans. The day of the Lord. It's a dreadful day. It's a day of gloominess. It's a day of when you feel like, oh, I'm about to die. I'm, I'm, if I'm not right, there's no more hope now. We have hope now, we have a chance. Ain't no lion after us now. You know, we can still get away from this lion. The, the Satan, he's a roaring lion seeking, but we, we have a chance to call on Jesus. Hallelujah. We got the power Thank you, Lord. of God dealing yeah. in our lives. Lord, hallelujah. Is that right? Amen. What he says, Joseph? Amen. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness? Darkness. And not light? Uh huh. Even very dark. Even very dark. And no brightness in it. And no brightness in it. Ain't that something? So that's that that's Amen. That's that's scary. Jesus. Second Peter. Jesus. Second Peter read. Second Peter three and verse ten. Says But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It's, all right, here we go, a thief in the night now. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Well, listen what he say. He talked about darkness, now he talked about night. Three. Which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Uh -huh. The earth also and the works that are therein yeah. shall be burned up. See, see that's what I said. We can't get ourselves so involved in all the things that's that we're down here. But we just can't just say, oh, I, this is that. Like, oh, I got to have this. I got to do this. No, no, it, no, it's not. Because all this stuff will be burned up. Amen. We don't want nothing down here, nothing down here to cause us to go to hell. Nothing. 
What he said. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Listen what he said. What manner of person ought ye to be? How should you be? In all mm. holy conversation and godliness. Uh huh. Looking for the hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Day of God. Wherein the heavens being on fire mm. shall be dissolved, and the Thank elements God. shall melt with fervent heat. Uh huh. Nevertheless, we according to his promise. All right, but see, I, this is beautiful. Nevertheless, all this is going to take place, but nevertheless, we according to, to his, his promise. promise. Look for a look for a new heaven. Look for a new heaven and a new earth. A, a new heaven. So it's, it's going to be a play, a different place. A new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth the righteousness. Wherein dwelleth, you know, it, it, can you imagine that? A new heaven, new earth, where there is what? Wherein dwelleth the righteousness. 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 Yeah. Seeing that you look for such things, what should happen? Be diligent. Listen. Be diligent that ye be, that ye may be found in, of him in peace. Amen. Without spot and be, blame. Be diligent. So we got something to work on. Yes. We have something to pray for. We have something to ask the Lord for. Be diligent. Yes. Why? An account that the long and suffering account for the long suffering of our Lord is what is salvation. God giving us a chance. Yes, he is. The longer he stay away, he's giving us all a chance to get right. Giving us a chance to say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, help me. I need you. The, the longer he stay away, he gives us a chance. That's why I say, more than them that say, the day of the Lord. The people hollering the day of the Lord, they ain't ready for nothing. That's right. I think he say, remember now, the long suffering of God is salvation. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we have to sit up our temple. Yeah. That's why we have to pray. Right. And that's God to help us. Yeah. That's God to move things. Yeah. That's God yeah. to increase things. Because yeah. the long suffering yeah. of God yeah. is salvation. Yeah. What you mean? It's deliverance. Yeah. I got a chance. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And as right. long as I got life, Thank I got hope. Thank is that all right? I got, I got a chance. Hey, Glory. you wake up. He said, I see the sun shining. Thank you, Jesus. Or the rain. Save the Lord. Lord. I got a chance to talk to the Lord. Save the Lord. Lord Jesus. Got a chance to talk to him. Save about who? About me. Save the Lord. That's right. Save the Lord. I want to talk to him yes. about me. Yes. Save the Lord. That's right. Huh? Lord, I, I see my short help. Help. I see my strength. Help. 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 Jesus. Help. 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 Lord Jesus, help me. Don't slow for help. Yeah. Jesus. I ain't praying enough for Jesus. 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 I ain't fasting enough. Lord Jesus. Whatever it is, Lord, now I need help. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank Who am I looking at? Me. I'm looking at myself. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to be Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Save it all. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, I want to be Hallelujah. right. Save it, Jesus. Jesus. I want to be Hallelujah. ready for the day of the Lord. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Thank you. Huh? Don't even be trying to yes. get comfortable around him. That's right. That's right. Huh? Woe to them that are you. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Why well, we got a chance to praise him, honor him, ask him, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Is that right? Don't take, uh -uh, don't take, uh -uh, don't take this thing light. Huh? Don't neglect this great salvation. Huh? No, this is real. I mean, who? Everybody. Everybody got to give an account. Everybody for themselves. Save ourselves. You can't look for the preacher and say, well, the preacher's going to save me. No, you got to save yourself. The preacher's dead. Uh, I was saving and did what he had to do. Yes, he did. Died, shed his blood, didn't he? Yes, sir. Went on back to glory. Uh -huh. He said, I go prepare a place for you. That way I am, you may be also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Then he said, We look for a new heaven. Yeah. And a new earth. Mm -hmm. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Righteousness. Yes, sir. Is that all right? Amen. Well, we know it ain't all righteousness down here. Right. One scripture said, You have the song of the earth. Didn't he say so? Mm -hmm. You know, you're the salt. Yes. You know, you're the key. Hallelujah. Thank you. The people of God 
is the, the people of the earth praying to the Father. Mm. Is that right? Yes. Praying to the Father. Jesus. Is that right? Amen. And he hears us, having mercy on the world through our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Thank what do you say, Brother Rick? An account that the long servant of our Lord is salvation. Yes, it is. Even as our beloved Brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking of, speaking in them Lord of Jesus. these things, uh -huh. in which which in which are some things hard to be understood. It, it, things hard to be understood, but what? Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. Yes. As as they do also the other scriptures. Ah, uh -huh. they rest as those other scriptures unto their own destruction. Uh huh. See, ye oh. therefore beloved. What, what do you say? What do you tell us? Seeing you know these things. All right, if we know all about these things before, what, what should we do? Beware lest you also, being led away with the error of the yes. wicked, be aware of your own steadfastness. All right, saints, that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to fall from your own steadfastness. But? But what? Grow in grace. Grow in love. Grow in grace. And, and, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that all right? To him be, to him be glory. Yes. Both now, now and forever. He, he is be glory now mm -hmm. and forever. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. He yes. is be glory now and forever. Is that all right? Amen. We got one or two more scriptures over here, Joe. Amen. Zephaniah 1, 1, 14 through 18. <laughs> 1 through 1? It's 1 through 14. Zephaniah chapter 1. Verses 14 through 18. Let's, let's see the full verses. The great day of the Lord is near. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. It is near. And hasted greatly. It hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry their bitter. The mighty man gonna cry. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The right. mighty man gonna cry. Yeah. Bitter. Bitter. Yeah. I don't care. It don't matter what man is. That's right. Amen. The mighty man. Hallelujah. You, you got the mighty man. Jesus, glory, hallelujah. Huh? Yes. Sometimes people, men think, men, mm -hmm. God, God, let me tell you something, God make any man cry. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you ain't so strong, God can make you cry. Lord Jesus. So ain't nothing wrong with crying out to God. Amen. I'd rather be praying and crying out for him to bring something on me to cry. Yes, yes. Because he can get you to cry. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, he know how to get you to cry. Mm -hmm. so ain't yes, no man thinking he's so Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mighty. What did he say? That day is a day of wrath. Well, that day, it's a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress. Well, it's a day of, and just think about the lion, the bear, and the serpent. Was that distress? Amen. Go ahead. A day of wasteness. A day of wasteness. And desolation. Desolation. A day of darkness and gloomness. Day of darkness Jesus. and gloominess. Day of darkness. See, we had the eclipse. Thank you, Lord. Day of darkness. See, God can make the sun not shine and make the moon turn to blood mm -hmm. and darkness. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell you something. If it stayed dark, you would feel the same. Mm -hmm. Because there's always that fear. Mm -hmm. See, when light comes, you can see. But if it stayed gloomy and dark, Jesus, you'd be walking around in fear. Thank yes. you, Lord Jesus. Yes, you would. Because you know how you feel sometimes now when it gets dark. Mm -hmm. Let me get on home when it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Let me get on through these woods where people used to walk before it gets too dark. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Me and Rick been down there fishing. He, he, though he know the way, he know the way. There's been times it gets so dark, he's stumbling up the way. Walking in Brian and Rick, you know where you go? You're trapped in Brian. That ain't no good feeling. Is. But you know what I learned? When I used to go fishing with him down there? Hey, we have flesh. That's right. I made sure I had sure me a light. I made sure I had me a light. So now, in this day and time, we should be all right because we all got to sit those that cell phones got lights on them. So, but you know what? That's going to show us. How important to us light is. Yes, it's very essential. It's important to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's really important. It's, it's important to us. 
better. Mm -hmm. Not only us, it's important to life source itself. Mm -hmm. Light means something. Yeah. But if it was gloomy and dark all the time, it's like the scripture talked about in Revelation, how that he's gonna bring scorpions and make them stain people, and how that day of tribulation is gonna be on the earth. People having a good time, but it's gonna be a day of trouble. And if we be here, we got to be prepared spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, how we can get through that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because you know how it is? You know how it is? An example. When the hurricanes come and our lights go out, our lights go out. And it get dark, it get dark, you ain't got no light in the house, you walk around, you tell people ain't no more house scared. My Lord. Stumbling around, is that right? It don't feel good, do it? It's, it's, it. You know what? We cannot even begin to um, uh, um, imagine or describe how it will be the day Thank of Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord But it's going to be a day of gloominess, a day of dark. And that's why we ask for us, Lord, help us, help us, help us. Help us. Help us. Just continue to ask for help. I mean, for real. Jesus. Like from your own Thank heart. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. From your own heart. Mm -hmm. Not because I said you better be kind of have that in you. That's right. I'm gonna help. I don't want to be. I don't know what's gonna happen. No, sir. What he say here, Joe? A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of the trumpet and alarm. A day of the trumpet and alarm. A day of what?